Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how we can minimize a boolean function by kmap. We minimize boolean function to reduce the complexity of logic gates that implement that boolean function. Now what the kmap is? Kmap is a diagram made up of squares. Each square represents a min term. Now, a function can also be represented by a k-map. In k-map, function will be represented by the area enclosed by those squares whose min terms are included in the function. Now suppose, now suppose there is a function f1 which is the sum of two min terms, m1 and m2. So f1 equals to m1 plus m2. Now these are the two squares in a k map which represents the min terms m1 and m2. Then the area of these is two squares. Area enclosed by these two squares represents the function f1. Now we will study about the k map for two binary variables. Let there are two binary variables x and y. Two variables can form four min terms. So the k map for two variables will have four squares. Now look at this square for two variables x and y. Here columns are labeled by y and x is, uh, and rows are labeled by x. Columns are labeled by y, rows are labeled by x. And the number 0 and 1 represents the value of variable. 0 represents the complement form of the variable. 1 represents the normal form of the variable. Here 0 represents y0. Here 0 represents x0. Here 1 represents y. Here 1 represents x. Now the min term which the square represents can be obtained by concatenating the label of row with the label of the column of the square. Now look at this square. Its row is labeled by x0 and column is labeled by y. So it represents the min term x0 y. So in two variable k map, this one square represents the min term m0, this represents the min term m1, this represents the min term m2, this represents the min term m3. It represents the min term m3. Now, there is a property in a k map that min terms represented by the adjacent squares of a k map differs only by one variable. Now look at these two adjacent squares they differ only by variable y because here y appears in its normal form and in this y appears in its complement form. Now look at these two adjacent square. This represents the min term x not y. This represents the min term x y. They differ only by these two variables. Now these two min terms of adjacent squares these two min terms of adjacent squares differ only by one variable that is x. Here x appears in its complement form, here x appears in, in its normal form. So when we take the sum of min terms which are represented by adjacent square, for example x0 y0 plus x0 y, right? Then what will happen? x0 uh, here we will take the common in this expression x0 what is left y0 plus y y0 plus y equals to 1 so what is left x0 and 1 which is equals to x0 so what is left here the variable which is common in both min terms right that is variable which is common in uh, both min terms of the adjacent square. 
Now suppose we have to minimize this function f equals to x y plus x naught y naught plus x y naught by two variable k map. So first we will make a k map for x and y variable. Then first we will mark the squares whose midterms are included in the function. Then we make group of marked adjacent squares. Number of squares in a group should be in a power of 2 like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Move the number of squares in a group more simplified the function would be. Then select the variable which are common in all squares of a group. One term will be formed for each group and some of these min terms will represent the function. Now, now look at this min term x, y. Right? It is represented by this square whose row is labeled by x and column is labeled by y. So I have marked this square by 1. x not y not. This min term is represented by this square. So I have marked this square by 1. This square represents the min term x y naught. So I have also marked this square because the min terms of these squares are included in the function f. Now I have to make group of adjacent marked squares. Right? So first group is this one, it is of two adjacent squares. Second group is this one. Now I have to find the common variable in the squares of first group. Here there is only one variable which is common in these two squares of a group that is y0. So I have included y0 in the function. In this group there are two squares and only the variable which is common in these two squares is x. So I have included x also in the function. So the function has become y0 plus x. In this way we can minimize two variable functions by using k map of two variables. Thank you very much.